taking a walk through the ballroom forest, uh, Crater Lake Mountain, and uh, thought it was going to be a lot harder walk uh, up here, but it's really nice, super easy. Um, so lots of little kids, older people. Uh, yep. So really nice views, um, which we'll get to in a second, I think. Um, as soon as we get out of the foresty area. But uh, yeah, a little cold up here, so I got a I got a snow jacket for the first time. Uh, and uh, the sky's like totally cleared out, so that's good. But this morning it was like totally raining. Felt like it was gonna snow. Uh, windy as hell, still windy. But like before, it was like just crazy windy. So the uh, water w um, was like smashing against the shore. It was like whirlwind water type stuff um, going on and um, yeah this could be a better walk I, I, I don't know uh, trying to put other walks into perspective here and um, yeah so far I'd say this one I'm only halfway through but I had to say this uh, this little nature walk definitely takes the cake. So I'm glad it came out. Um, place I stayed at was a nice little log cabin uh, about 30 kilometers away. You need to have like a um, day pass to get into this. It's like a another uh, world heritage site. So um, there is like one or two hotels in the park proper but they're like crazy expensive like 400 bucks a night type of shit so i lucked out and only paid like 200 something got to know some lovely people uh newly married couple from sydney um and they actually caught the bus with me um out to the to the lake here and another uh, fine couple, a new couple, a uh, girl from England, and a fine young lad from Ireland uh, and stuff who just uh, graduated from uni. So they're trekking across Australia, checking it out. Fuck, this part's a bit steep. Uh, yeah, hold on a second here. And I met a bunch of Germans are up here, so I don't know if they're planning on, uh, they're, they're really friendly, uh, nice group of people, uh, talk to them and stuff like that, but you never know about those Germans, man, I'm telling you, just, just never know, man, but, uh, yeah, some super changing um, weather conditions up here. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. So hope they didn't mind. I got a little bit of a mate <laughs> on reel to reel. Uh, all right. So yeah, everyone starting at the lake took a left and typical Jarrell, I took a right. So everyone's like walking the opposite direction that I am. But I get the luxury of uh, taking my own fucking route. So, you know, all good. And then, uh, yeah, if I did decide to die, uh, I'm wearing a bright red jacket. So I'd stand out pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah, cabin was really interesting. No TV, no internet access. Middle of the uh, eight miles off a dirt track, uh, winding through this like kind of pretty mountainous region with like trees and branches, more people. I'll try, uh, yeah, lots of Asians up here, but you know, that's Australia for you, right? So more shot over this way. I'll try and not get them, um, but they're pretty hooded up as you can tell. So, yeah. Hi. 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 Oh, okay. So here we go. It's, um, I feel like I, I've taken my jacket off actually, cause I'm um, getting pretty warm. And uh, I guess I'm pretty much underneath that Twin Peaks mountain thingy now. So I bet you I'm super out of the uh, wind. It's probably where it's coming from, right? And fuck yeah. Totally awesome view, about halfway done with the walk. And uh, you know, great thing about hiking in Australia is you don't have to worry about uh, mountain lions, cougars, wolves, bears. Uh, yeah, just Germans and snakes and uh, spiders and stuff. So look at that shit. Just fucking amazing. Uh, I think we're only about um, 1,100 feet up. So. Just beautiful. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. So I don't think I need to meditate. Uh, get my balance on. Just take a walk through this fucking park. And, uh, yeah, she'll be right, man. Yep, heaps good. Heaps good. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's too much else to say. But I'll just um, chime in whenever I feel like fucking talking and enjoy the rest of the walk. Hi. Hi there. Enjoy the zen. Oh, look at that. Frickin' snow. <laughs> Not a palm tree. Nope. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's a good feeling to be out in a uh, wilderness area like this. And this high, I don't think you have to worry about snakes uh, or uh, mountain spiders whatever uh, and um, they killed all the Tasmanian oh there's a bird they killed all the Tasmania devils and um, they're not that fucking vicious anyway I don't think oh wait um, not Tasmania devils um, Tasmania tigers they're all gone and um, another shot of the mountains Let's see, a uh, waterfall over there, just, I think this actually used to be a volcano. I'm pretty sure it was. They had um, two glacial periods in Tasmania uh, and they have volcanic activity as well. So I think, um, yeah, this is a crater lake is actually part of a probably hopefully extinct volcanic system. Um, and of course, Tasmania used to be connected to the mainland before um, 
you know, the other part of the uh, glaciers melted, not due to human activity uh, and the sea level rise. So beautiful shot again. Yeah. Um, this whole area, this whole part of um, Tasmania going south um, for a massive, massive area is just pretty much untouched. Um, hardly any roads, hardly any people, just um, open uh, country. And um, air is just amazing. There's like amazing food, friendly, stress-free people. Uh, yeah, I, I meant, um, I'd say um, this trip has definitely been worth it. Um, got a shitload of walking done and exploring the country and trying to go for like the best little bits but I passed so many signs of like waterfalls and other things to do that uh, I'm sure I could keep coming back here and finding something amazing and new uh, every single time I come in the front. And the great thing about this little place is that it is little. So, whole bar from the bottom to the top, we had a long Seston, which is like the Elizabeth of fucking Tasmania. Kind of a shithole. But uh, hey, you know, every place has got to have a, uh, a shithole, I guess. Anyway, it's not that bad, but comparatively speaking. Um, two and a half hour drive, Hobart to Launceston, from the bottom to the top, from Launceston to here, was like hour and a half, two hours. Um, if I wanna drive back from here and take a full loop around the uh, west coast, which I guess is really curvy and uh, conditions subject to change with partial uh, roads uncovered. Um, that, that, that's like 175 kilometers, which is like, you know, 140 miles. So, too easy. Go. Hello. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, 150 Oop. Hi there. 150 kilometers back to Hobart. Uh, miles back to Hobart. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can drive around the whole island in a day. It's a big island. I mean, you know. But, uh, yeah, surprisingly, uh, compared to the mainland, mainland Australia, um, shit's really close together. <laughs> I'd have to drive like fucking forever to get to the next fucking place. Um, uh, which, uh, yeah, and they, they don't really have expressways, um, here, um, in, uh, Tasmania or South Australia, they're not like the same. So it's a little bit slower going and, uh, a lot of like construction zones and stuff like that. Um, so, there are more people. Hi there. Uh, keep the wildlife wild. Yep, so we're not supposed to feed the bush babies or the wallabies uh, up here. Um, if I was like a fucking bush baby, I'd be pretty fucking hungry. I don't see a lot to eat necessarily, but then again, you know, 
I'm a freaking human. So, ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, here's some people. Look, even old people. So, enjoy the view again. This is uh, arguably the easier part of the walk coming back. See, you know, I, I picked it. There's a like a crow thing over here. Sorry, coming through. Don't mean to wreck your picture. Sorry, sorry. Oh uh, yeah. Well, um, I might go back to the cabin actually. Um, the um, the boat cabin. Because now the uh, fucking sun's out and uh, pictures I took of the boat cabin were kind of cloudy. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Hi there. Hello. Thank you. Hello. You know, um, I don't know if it's the people are friendly or if it's just me because I'm fucking a cheesehead from Wisconsin, you know what I'm saying? Just give me some cheese and I'm easy to please, yeah? All right, so, ah. No, I thought I saw a little while I'll be there for a second. Hello. 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 It's a rush hour over here. Uh. Oh. Hi there. Hi. Oh, back to the jungle. Hope you're enjoying this trip, my my little um, videography trip up in Cradle Lake Mountain. So if you don't get to come, I understand because uh, it's a bit of a journey. Uh, yep, because for. Most of you guys, it's clear across the other side of the planet. Um, and then you gotta drive all the way through into kind of the middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, since you guys get a massive two weeks off a year, I, I, I'm not, I'm not holding out any hopes that I'm going to get too many visitors down this part of the world. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, thinking of you guys a lot. All the time, obviously. Uh, do miss all you guys. And uh, miss good old Wisconsin. Uh, hope the Packers are still doing good. Uh, don't know how the fucking Badgers are doing, but uh, I heard they got their asses kicked pretty recently, pretty badly. So, not holding out too much hope, I guess. But uh, I don't really miss uh, how divided everything is and all the bullshit politics um, that's been going on. That's for sure. Hi there. Yeah, I'm here. Hi there. Hey. Uh, so yeah, um, 
really glad to be yeah it's weird like I, I I'm super glad to be as far away from that fucking bullshit as possible the fucking uh, police state America right but at the same time uh, you know I really miss a lot of things and you guys up there don't miss the fucking weather but uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool and nostalgic to be uh, up here in Tasmania and uh, experience the snow a couple times already and uh, some pretty cold weather in the middle of December, which is summertime uh, down here. So, um, yeah. So I think that's like one of the reasons why I decided to kind of make this uh, video is uh, for some strange reason you guys are on my mind right about now and uh, I figured I'd say uh, say hi again show you a bit of my world what I'm up to Hi there. Hey, how are you? Okay, good. How's it going? Uh, and, uh, yeah. I know I don't, like, uh, chat much to you guys, and I don't post a bunch uh, on social media, but that's just because I'm fucking on social media all the fucking time. Um, posting about... 20 million things every fucking day and uh, other than um, being brought up with uh, if you don't have anything nice to say then don't say anything at all which is really good policy for Facebook by the way um, then uh, I've just been really really busy between uh, my work commuting to work and back uh, my other job uh, where I do stuff uh, for myself and um, yeah I, I just really barely have enough time in a day so hi there uh, <laughs> sorry um, so yeah I, I um, get up every morning at like fucking 730 get home every night about 6.30 and uh, I've got to work again when I get home so then I'm up to about 12 uh, every night um, and the weekends I get up even earlier than that like 6.37 so we do like Sunday morning bushwalk uh, with my mates here and uh breakfast hang out a bit and uh that's my week every fucking week hi there how are you doing good good hi thank you for having me oh thank you uh so um yeah so i've been super busy um and uh just sort of uh, getting my life restarted here in, uh, in Australia. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna call it, and uh, yeah, everybody, uh, wish y'all Merry Christmas, and uh, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Miss all you guys, and uh, yeah. Lots of love.